name is Bill Mosley, and I'm the instructor for the free and open online course, Introduction to Python Programming. In this short video, I'm going to tell you a little bit about myself, a little bit about the course, and I'm going to show you how to get started if you're interested in taking the course. First, a little bit about me. My name is Bill Mosley, as I said, and I'm a computer science professor at Bakersfield College in California, which is a community college. I've been there for 27 years, teaching most of the time, and also have some graduate level teaching experience at Pepperdine University. I'm a lifelong nerd. I love technology. I love computer programming. And my own journey with computer programming started at a very young age when I decided that I really wanted to try making my own video game. So uh, ever since then, I've been playing around with computers and playing around with programming. And I've developed a real love for all things technology related. So about this course, what's included? Uh, this course has an open textbook, which means there's no book you have to buy, and all of the text is online and freely available. There are a, a fairly extensive set of video lectures for the course, and those lectures are taken from my actual in-person course at Bakersfield College and modified and edited as needed. Uh, but you, even the, during the edited versions, you'll often hear me refer to assignments or grades or deadlines and things like that. Obviously for this course, none of that applies, but most of the material in those video lectures you will find very useful and helpful for you. Uh, the course also includes projects and activities, and those are designed to give you a chance to explore and develop what you've learned in each of the video lectures and through reading the textbook. Now you might be wondering, is this course appropriate for me? The answer is probably yes, depending on why you want to take it. But this course is designed for a beginning student, meaning we start at the very, very basics and you have to have very little computer knowledge to take this course. Um, you could, however, take it with any level of programming experience. Honestly, um, somebody who's an experienced programmer and just wants to learn Python could speed through this course and learn Python, um, adding it to what they already know about programming. Um, in the same way, if you have no programming experience and you're just interested, you could do fine with this course as well. It's designed to be very flexible. If you're just curious about coding, this is a great course because Python is a great beginner's language and it's very accessible for beginners. Um, and likewise, if you're just looking for a new challenge, if you don't have any desire to be a computer scientist or a software developer, but you just want to tease your brain a little bit. Um, programming is a great way to do that. So almost anybody can benefit from this course. And I recommend giving it a shot and just seeing how it works for you. So as far as what the course covers, for those of you that might be wondering about subject matter, the course covers programming fundamentals, object-oriented programming, software development, user interface design, a little bit of algorithm development, and then at the end of the course, we cover some special topics that include data science and machine learning, game development, image processing, and graphical user interface programming. Now, those last four topics are not topics that we go into a huge amount of depth for, and really each one of those could be their own course if we needed them to. But we just give you a little bit of an introduction to those concepts and some of those things, and you can build on that on your own, or you could then go on to a more advanced course in those areas. Accessing the course is made to be very simple. Uh, you can go to this website. That's my website, www.bmosley.com slash CR slash two. And, or you can scan this QR code and you can access the full course materials in one website in one place. And hopefully that's helpful. The playlist for this course can be accessed by scanning this QR code. But you should also know that at the end of this video, uh, the playlist link will come up for the next video in this playlist. So you can do that. Um, this is the first video in the course playlist. So you should be able to find the next video by going to the playlist and following it along that way. I'll also try to put a link to the course website in the notes for this video. Let's take a quick look at the course website so I can give you a quick tour of how to find the materials on the website. So this is the main page for the course. And from here, 
you can access the playlist, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel, and you can also access each of the course modules individually. If I click on a module, what you'll see is that we have a list of topics in that module, and the page that opens up by default is the text, the textbook for that, for that module, including all of the things you need to know. The next uh, tab over is the course videos, and each of the videos are listed in order for that module. We also have a link to key terms, a link to a set of quiz questions where you can test your knowledge, and finally a, a page that includes um, one or two activities for each module. The sandbox activities are more step-by-step, -step, helping you develop your knowledge, and the uh, the assignments, the A, the ones that start with A, are uh, a little bit more advanced and a little bit more difficult to figure out typically. So that is a brief tour of the course website. You can see it's all here for you and it's all free and open and hopefully it is useful to you and um, feel free to reach out to me if you have questions or if you have suggestions for improving the course or if you have ideas. Thank you so much for watching my video and I hope to see you online.